right down here is where I planted a whole bunch of pepper seeds a little while ago. I even made a video about it. And as you can see, there's basically nothing going on. <sighs> crabs. It appears crabs are eating all the pepper plants. As soon as they pop up, the crabs are like, snip. I don't know if they're eating them or what, but the crabs are getting them. So, around one little tiny pepper sprout, I put this white thing. And inside there is a pepper plant that has survived longer than any of the others. So, I'll go show you in a second. But I just went inside and got these. I have a whole, I have like two dozen of these things. Because, you know, as I often do, someone was getting rid of a bunch of surplus stuff for almost nothing. And uh, so I went and took it all. And I ended up with a whole bunch of these. So, I got a bunch of these and I'm thinking these can do that job there. And I have recently eaten some pepper. So I have some pepper seeds and a few watermelon seeds. Maybe I'll put a watermelon or two down there. Anyway, let's turn off the camera and go down. Yeah, I've also got some weeds. I've been pulling them out. But anyway, in, I don't even want to move that thing because it's working. So in there, there's a pepper plant and it's growing. Also, by luck, I've got a, what is this, papaya tree? which is amazing because right over here, I have a pretty good sized papaya tree, but it has no mate, so it's probably not gonna make papayas unless I can get at least one other one growing. So I've got one growing right here. And I've been planting seeds all over the place. The weird thing with papayas though, they never grow where I purposely plant them. And I've had other people say this too. Yeah, like they never grow where you purposely plant them, but you like eat some and throw some seeds somewhere and bloop, that's where they come out. Anyway, okay, let's take some of these. We're just gonna put them in places. So I'm gonna plant a few seeds right here. Let's start with just a few pepper seeds. Yeah, just like three or four, just in case they don't all work. People are always telling me online, you plant your things too close together. You plant your seeds too close together. <laughs> Look, out of all those seeds I planted here, only one has come up and survived. So, yeah, I plant seeds as if they're not all going to make it. All right, let me do some more of these. Well, two of these are watermelon, and the rest are peppers. Well, I guess I'll just, uh, just, just wait. It's the thing about gardening. It's like you do something, and then you got to wait, like, a month or three months to see if anything worked. All right. And since I've been away doing stuff for other people the last couple weeks, I mean, not away away, it's just every day the last few weeks, I've uh, you know been helping other people with their problems. My lawn has gotten out of control. You know what I just remembered? What? I have a bunch of, what's it called? That really good potato thing. The delicious potato thing over there I need to dig up. I'm not even sure if they're growing. What's that Wait, what is this really good potato thing called? No. Uh, well, that too, but not that. I uh, just mowed the lawn up the hill here, you know, machete mode. And while I was doing it, I cut this plant right here, which is yam pea, which is okay. Yeah, I cut it up here. Which is okay because it's been here for long enough that I should be able to dig up, hopefully, some potatoy things from here. Maybe there's a small chance I can just pull them up now and I have to dig it. Hoping for some good food. Yampi are so delicious. All right, they don't know where they are, so I'm not sure exactly where I should be.
Come on, be something, be something. Not nothing. I thought these things weren't supposed to grow very deep. I'm trying to get under them so I don't kill any roots. That's it! Well, oh. there's my little potatoy things. They get a lot bigger than this. Whatever. I got something. Oh, it looks like I cut a couple off. They grew deeper. Oh, just another little one. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. oh, there's another one a little bigger. Still not that big, but worth eating. This spot here has like the best looking soil around. It's because there was a, a fire pit here at one point. I don't know how good the soil is, but it grew a few little yam peas. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's not impressive. I do have some more growing up on the top of the hill. Hopefully those ones will do better. They'll definitely get more sun. I don't know, I, I just plant things all over the island to see where they grow best. So over there is not a great spot for these. But I mean, it did grow something. Well, I could dig up some of my yucca here. Ah, I think I'm gonna give it a few more months. I'm just gonna finish mowing the lawn down here. Oh, there's a nice mess. Ooh, speaking of plants, this guy's got bananas on him right there. Beauty. I should actually transplant some of these little banana trees, like this guy right here. Because once you have too many in a clump, they, they don't make as many bananas. So if you spread them out, you get more bananas. Plus, I have lots of space to put bananas. And I like bananas. Yum, bananas. Well, that's a little bit better. Sweet potatoes. They were growing right down. See, not down there. Yeah, right down there. Didn't even know they were there until I saw some leaves and I was like, oh, those are sweet potatoes. And I followed this big long vine. And there you go. Excellent. I have to weed everything out of there except those sweet potatoes. And they weren't even growing that well. Like this part was growing above ground. I think I might have to cut that part off. I think you're not supposed to eat that. I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up. But uh, yeah, there's a good sweet potato spot right down there. I need to rip everything out except the sweet potatoes and let them take over. Alright, well that's a little more under control. I'll go back in a couple days and trim it up a little more. Although, all this ground down here is eventually going to get buried anyway. I need to get the ground up to the level of these things. And that. Because I think this is going to be underwater in a few years. Right now it's pretty high tide. Look at that. 